Hi everyone and welcome to Jet in Airways where a smile goes a long way. Now if you enjoyed the video today feel free to give us a thumbs up, a like or hit subscribe or make a comment. And of course you're welcome to join our Discord where we have regular meetups and group flights. Now today's video is all about uh, how to get this beautiful SSG 747-800 Anniversary Edition started up from cold and dark. Now it has its idiosyncrasies. Is it study level? Mm, pretty much. Quite study level. Um, it is not as study level or um, detailed as the uh, PMDG 747 or 737s. It is not at that standard. But it is a very, very good rendition of a 747-800. Um, real pilots have tested this and flown this plane and they say it is a very, very good representation of how a 747-800 actually handles. The flight dynamics are very, very good. It feels big, it feels heavy, and uh, uh, um, they just said it's, it's a very good uh, simulation as far as the flight dynamics of a 747. Um, now because it's only on a computer and a simulation it will never be spot on and perfect. Uh, no simulation could get it uh, uh, that close to the reality. Um, but they've done a pretty good job of the flight dynamics of the 747. The outside model is just absolutely stunning. This is why I painted it in Jet and Airway colours. It just looks absolutely beautiful. It has been beautifully uh, rendered and modelled. And uh, it's just a lovely, beautiful thing. Now, when you get into the cockpit like this, it should be cold and dark with everything off. If it is not, come on down here and click Park Cold and Dark. And that'll highlight. And then click Initialize. And that'll make sure everything is in the cold and dark position. However, it looks like some of these switches are pushed in and ready to go. Don't worry about it. Don't touch it. Okay, it's the way they were left, maybe from the last flight or the last pilot. Leave them. Okay, just leave them. So, what we'll do is we will turn on our power. Okay. Now, this is uh, not going to last very long. We're running on our battery, so we need to connect the ground power. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll click on the ground power truck and we'll highlight the GPU ground power connected. Now, we'll need to come up, up to the overhead and we can see now that uh, ground power is available. So we can click on those. And now everything comes to life because we have... Um, ground power connected. Now like I said a lot of these lights are all lit up and switches are on because it seems that's the way they were left. If there's a little white circle that's highlighted on the switches that means they are on. However let's go through and click some of these other things and get some other things switched on ready to go. Standby power we'll turn that to auto. Utility switches we will turn those on. Uh, uh, generator pumps, we'll put those around to auto. We'll come over here, uh, window heat is on. Uh, beacon light, we can turn on. Um, your damper, lower and upper, that is turned on there. Recirculation switches are on. Okay, so that's basically all we have to do. We are running on ground power and we've got our switches all on here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is the most crucial part of this video. If you ignore this or don't do this, uh, you may never ever get the plane started and you'll be banging your head against a brick wall until the claret is flowing freely like a river. So please, this is the most crucial thing. This is what you must do from here. Now, normally two or three pilots, two pilots in a 747, but as you know, this is a simulator, there is only one of you, 
but we still need to animate we still need someone to check all our switches and all the buttons and everything we touched up here we need to go someone through the checklist and double check just like the real world obviously we have to animate that because there's only one of us so how do we do that okay we'll click on this turnaround switch and we'll go to parked powered and IRS aligned parked powered we've just powered it but we're going to get our first officer to go through every switch and double check it for us to make sure we've done everything right highlight that click initialize okay now if you come up here everything is the same how you had it nothing much has changed well there is a couple of things that have changed these switches have gone back to off okay uh, what else has changed um, nothing else has changed uh, we've got the main fuel pumps turned on here there not the central ones just the main ones turned on okay so our flight our flight officer our first officer has double checked everything we did on the overhead panel just like in real life okay now at this stage we've got power we can actually open the left door the passenger door there and uh, if we come outside oh, our view has changed so let's get it around oh you can see the front door open there let's come around here bring the view around there we go you can see the front door open you can see inside the plane it's just beautifully rendered beautifully modeled just amazing really is beautiful okay so let's park there so the front door is open I'll save that as my exterior view custom view uh, so now we've got the front door open you can see that's highlighted there uh, we can go ahead and connect the jetway okay so how do we do that we're going to hold shift G shift G and that brings up ground handling screen toggle jetway connection we'll hit that shift G again to get rid of the screen and then we will see our jetway being connected ah oh, it is a beautiful thing poetry in motion I tell you when you learn how to do it and everything does does it does uh, does what it's supposed to do it is a really enjoyable aircraft okay the other thing we can do now is to come down to our uh, EFB click on the fuel truck okay now you can highlight you can click the number 10 four times like I did and that brought us up to 40 40,000 liters or pounds of fuel and then you click load see so you highlight the buttons here click on them get the amount of fuel that you want and then hit load uh, and now our fuel tanks are actually being filled for us and it's it's lovely to watch it really is <laughs> okay so we're on ground power now if we want to we can hit F8 and we can come up here and we can start to set up our FMC do our position in it um, and all that I'm not going through the FMC because this is a startup video if a startup engine startup video should be a startup video an FMC uh, programming video should be a separate video okay um, so this is just a startup video right so we are on the ground power unit okay and at this point we could do our FMC if we wanted to now let's just say that we've done all that um, our fuel is all done our fuel is all full so that is good we can go back to that screen um, and now we can go ahead and we can start our APU that's the next thing now I recommend that you don't touch anything up here if you start flicking around these buttons and turning on switches and doing this and that and the other thing and getting all fancy uh, your APU won't start just don't touch anything okay leave us leave it as it is uh, when your flight officer powered her up okay that's it he powered it up leave it don't touch it 
but now it's time to start the APU so this is where we're going to start doing some work go up to the APU and click on and then one more click around to start and it will turn itself back to on now if you like you can have a look you've got your you got your main fuel tanks turned on um, you've got different things turned on here um, utility if you try and touch anything it, your APU is not going to start so you can look at it and enjoy it but don't touch it okay just let your co-pilot do that okay so if we come outside can't quite see it from this angle oh yep we can see all sorts of fumes and smoke and nasty stuff bellowing out the back of the plane there through that APU jet engine so that is all good the APU is now running now very soon the APU will light up on the bus and we will then be officially running and taking power from our APU indeed there it goes we are now running on our APU okay now we're still not going to touch anything here please do not touch anything don't upset the system or you're going to be like me you're going to be struggling for a week and banging your head against the wall just do the way I do it okay <laughs> If you, want to, if you want to think up a more fancier way later and it actually works for you, congratulations. Let me know how you did it. But at the moment, follow what I am doing so you can get it all going and up and flying. So now we're running on our APU. We've got our autopilot all set up. We've got our, um, we've got our FMC all done. Okay, let's say that. We can come down here and we're starting to get ready for pushback. Okay. So we're going to close the door. Closing the door. We're running on our APU. We can disconnect the ground power unit. Now to disconnect the jetway, we're going to hit Shift G. Toggle jetway attachment. We'll click that. Hit Shift G again to get rid of the screen. And there we go. The jetway is being retracted. It's a beautiful thing. Poetry in motion. Right, so now the door is closed, jetway is disconnected, our, uh, our fuel tanks are full. We are running on the APU. So we're going to go ahead and get pushback. So we're going to come down here and we're going to look at our brake. The moment our brake is is off, we're going to bring it up. Oh, it's not coming up. It's not coming up. I told you this plane has some quirks and it has it has some uh, idiosyncrasies I tell you right so come back down here we're going to remove our chocks okay remove our chocks now if we come down to our parking brake again there we go parking brake comes on parking brake goes off so bring it up and take it off make sure it is working and everything is good now we can come back over here we have a pushback button we're going to click on that and then we're going to hit the two down arrows I click that and we start to go back okay now what will happen if you don't come over here and check your parking brake click it up click it down again you will have problems with your pushback um, the park brake will not disengage properly they'll try to push you back they will struggle and the nose of your plane will lift up into the ear like you've got a big lead weight at the back your nose will lift up into the ear and the whole pushback system will be broken and you won't be able to stop it you'll have to go out of the game and reload the plane okay if you don't do things in the right order the whole startup process and code will be broken 
you'll have to go out of the game, come back in and reload the plane to start again. So keep it simple, keep it easy, do it this way. Everything should work perfectly. Okay, every single time. Now, again, we're not coming up here. We're not touching any buttons. We're not doing anything um, until our pushback is complete. Okay, we haven't touched anything up here. All we've done is turned on the APU up here. So here we are getting pushed back. What a beautiful plane. What a beautiful model. Just beautifully done. Uh, we're going to watch these beautiful engines fire up very, very soon. Okay. Just for the sake of this video, that is far enough. Now you can use the yoke to steer your pushback. So if I want to tail around to the right, I will steer my yoke. Now I know this is not realistic. Um, but it's the way you can get yourself pushed back onto the yellow line and be right on the yellow line all set for taxi, okay? Right, straighten up my yoke. Right, I'll come down here and I'll click stop for the pushback. Okay, pushback has stopped. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put on the parking brake, okay? Okay, right, we are all good. We are going to, we're going to start up our engines now. Let's come in around here. We're in a good position to see these beautiful engines firing into life. Okay, so here we go. Again, we are not touching anything up here, okay? Our uh, flight officer got everything powered up and in the right place. We don't need to touch a thing. All we're going to do, well, we've touched the APU button. That's about it. What we're going to do now is we're going to check that our fuel pumps, fuel tanks are on. The main ones, not the central ones. The main ones there, there. Main ones there and there. Again, our first officer has done it for us. We don't need to do it. Right, so we're going to start our number four engine first. Then we're going to start our number two and three engines together at the same time. And then we're going to start our number one engine. Now you can start them in a different order if you wish. I think this is not crucial, but this is the way I do it. Um, so try it. Uh, just follow this one for now and then try your own version of it later if you like. If it doesn't work, uh, then go back to my, uh, my order of doing things, okay? Right, so get ready on your view uh, buttons. You've got to have this view set so you can see your engine pressures and everything coming up. So you've got to have that view set. You need to have a way to come down here quickly, turn on the fuel switches, the cutoff and the run switches for the engines. So you want that view and that view to get to very, very quickly and all set up, okay? For with your custom views. Okay, so let's start with number four. We'll hit that start switch on. You'll hear it click and just come out, just a fraction. Now come on down here. We want to see this pressure come up to 14. There it is, 14. So come on down here and flick on the run switch, the run button. Come up here and make sure this is starting to spool up nicely. The numbers are coming up really, really fast. That means it's starting to spool up, okay? Come back up here. We'll have a look outside. And there it is. You can see this engine on the here. Spooling up just beautiful. There it is. Lovely. Come back in. Check that it's coming up here. Coming up beautiful there. Come on up here. Now this APU number two may turn itself off. Okay, you'll click and it'll probably turn itself off. Right, there it goes. Now we're going to start number start number two and three together. Let's pull those out. Pull them out. Come down here. Okay, we're going to add fuel. Hit the run switch for two and three. Come on up here. We want to see these come to 14. There they are. They're at 14. And boom, they are firing up. They are spooling up already. 
that is a beautiful thing they're coming up to pressure there just lovely okay so here they are the engines on the outside Firing into life there. Pressure's come up to uh, 3, 322, 321. Eventually they'll come up the same as that, 333. Okay, now we're going to start engine number one. Now you probably heard this. APU turn itself off. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes I uh, I quickly flick it back on again. Not sure if it needs to be. But let's click engine number one out. We'll come down here. Wait for this to hit number 14. Come up to 14 for pressure. There it is at 14 now. Flick on the fuel run button lever there. And this is firing up nicely. Spooling up coming up to pressure and the APU uh, lights have turned themselves out the APU bus has turned itself off okay you can see all engines running there okay now another thing we're going to do just slightly work the throttle and make sure the engines are stable and responsive to the throttle Let's bring the throttle up there we go just a slight twitch on the throttle and you can see the engines are responding to the throttle so you know they are stable they are running and they are all set to go so we will come up here and we'll turn the APU switch off okay uh, the hydraulics pumps we're going to put them around to auto Our beacon light we're going to turn on could have done that earlier actually strobe light on we're going to light this up like a Christmas tree make sure the beacon power uh, light is down to both all the lights on pretty much now we're going to come down right down here right down 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 check the cabin chime is working okay and the flight door can be on auto or deny at this stage i put it on deny seat belts can be on and while we're down here we'll set our um, set our flaps to 10 flaps 10 and that is all good okay so we're pretty much finished on with the uh, electronic flight bag for now we did do our fuel our fuel is all loaded you can see so we are all good there um, and we can go ahead and just check with ground that we have permission to taxi we can come over here turn on our flight directors while we're thinking of it and if you've done your um, if you've done your FMC and everything you can turn on your LNAV as well and check that your uh, auto brakes auto brakes are on RTO for rejected takeoff okay taxi lights are all on taxi lights on there we go and uh, now you can take off your parking brake add a little bit of throttle and you should be able to uh, taxi to the hold short What a beautiful plane. I'm really enjoying this plane. Okay, I'm going to put my park brake on there. Uh, because that is the end of the video, guys. We have gone from pretty much cold and dark right to start up and taxi to the hold short. And uh, just remember, uh, let your co-pilot 
actually turn all the switches on and um, add power to the to the plane you can turn on the ground power there's no problem with that you can do the ground power in here uh, we just hit um, we just hit park powered IRS aligned enter and let your co-pilot your flight uh, your co-pilot your first uh, officer um, switch on all the switches and add power to the plane if you try to do it all yourself um, there's a 9.99 percent chance you will not get your APU started anyway hope this is helpful guys let me know in the comments um, if you're just getting started with this plane this way of doing things will work should work for you every time it works for me every time I can't guarantee it'll work for you on your machine but it works for me and uh, I can now concentrate on just flying this plane and enjoying it after about a week of frustrations of, of, of process of elimination of trying to get the, the blinking thing to, to work properly and start up Take care guys, have fun, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.